72 hours. That's how long the food supply on Vancouver Island will last if we were ever cut off from the mainland. It's a sobering thought, and it's something that one man is trying to change by educating anyone who will listen. Here's V. Cooper with Mr. Organic. Put your hands up. How many seeds did I take out? Whoa, look, you guys are, whoa. must have a good teacher. Eh? A very good teacher and a volunteer one at that. Meet Dave Friend, also known as Mr. Organic. How is food really, really important? He didn't always know this much about food. Back in England, Dave played semi-pro soccer, but as he got a little older, he didn't have as much energy and he started to look at what he was eating. Next thing I know, I'm visiting organic farms in the UK. Next thing I know, I'm really falling in love with what they are doing and understanding it. And then started traveling and working on organic farms in different parts of the world. And Put your hand up if you want to go outside. Twelve years ago, Dave retired to Victoria and began spreading his gospel with everyone from preschoolers to seniors that we need to grow our own food. We have become dependent on imported food to the ex such an extent that if that transportation stops, we only have three days a food supply on the island, which is crazy. Have you all got some seeds? Nice and slowly, put them in a the little channel. They're really excited about it. They love just to watch the plants grow. They are continuously asking questions and, and looking at things in their recess lunches and snacks and saying, you know, this is what Mr. Organic has talked about. And so it's really neat to see that. I think we should cover these up. Yeah. We are really grateful to have community members who can come in and work with us on our healthy schools and not only nurture the mind but also certainly teach the children about nurturing their body. Put your hand up if you know what we've seeded. Could it be radishes? Yeah. yeah. Okay, radishes. Wow, I know you're all excited. I love what I'm doing and the rewarding thing is really to see the kids when they get it and they understand it without getting too uh, mushy. I just get a really big kick out of it and uh, just putting something back in the, to the community. So. Back into the community and back into the soil too. Vital People is brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.